and welcome back to Passable Players, uh, Wolfsbane Plays Earthbound. Do you want to start a fight or what? Well, I mean, do I have a choice in the matter? But yes, yes I do. Because, I mean, it gives me experience points whenever I beat people and small animals up, but also it, it kind of makes my dick hard a little bit. <laughs> Okay, maybe we're talking about sex way too often on the show, so, you know, leave a co leave a comment below if you think that maybe we do, or maybe we don't do it often enough. But yeah, also share this video so, you know, we get more views and whatnot, because, I mean, we're- we- we need money. We're kinda broke. So, you know. Be good subscribers and do that for us. Do you want to meet Frank? I do not know who this Frank is. But I hope he doesn't beat me up or else I might get a little bit hurt. Yeah, I thought- I bet you were gonna say something- I bet you guys thought I was gonna say something else, didn't you? <laughs> you know, I have yet to see anybody fight while being on a pogo stick. Let alone, like, a gang member who, you know, regularly tries to beat people up. Like, I would honestly love to see that. Especially, like, if I was getting mugged or something. You know, falling down, like, every two turns. Well, not turns, because it would actually be a real-life fight, but... You know, falling down very often. Like, I would just take pictures of, pictures of that shit and, like, put it on Facebook. You know, uh... Hashtag fail at getting mugged. Charge forward, huh? Like, how- like, is there- could you actually, like, fight somebody while- while pogo sticking, or- or, uh, pogoing, or- what the f- what- what is it called? Like, like, what would that be called? What it- I, I would think it'd be called pogoing, probably. Okay, so I need to go up here to go buy some items. Gonna go to the drugstore and uh, go to my dealer. I gotta go buy my insulin for my diabetes. Well, no, okay, before you guys get offended, I actually am diabetic, by the way. So, you know, it's totally cool if I make that joke. And other jokes about diabetes. And I'm pretty much broke already. Just like in real life. Which is why I need YouTube, and I need to get popular on YouTube, so that way, I can fix that problem. But yeah, um, are you guys ready for a diabetes story? <laughs> so, um, I have, um, I have type 1, which means that it's not only genetic, but I'm also insulin dependent. And there are people in my uh, vicinity who I see on occasion, and by that I mean like people in my family. And some of them like get really grossed out by needles. So whenever they're near me, uh, they get like squeamish whenever they see me like shove a like a needle into my stomach to give myself my shot. And uh, just to fuck with them a little bit, what I would do is, uh, you know, after they like look away for a few seconds, I would tell them, no, 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 it's alright, it's alright, I'm done, you can look now. And they'd look back around and go, oh my god, why would you do that? Because um, I would still have the, uh, the needle like sticking out of my flesh. I'm such a bad person, aren't I? I'm going to hell. Especially after that last Pokemon video. <laughs> Time to mug my victim. That's what happens whenever you pick fights with me. You know, I actually ha used to have like a really short fuse as a child. Like, like I would get into fucking 
fist fights like all the time as a little kid. It was like mainly with my cousin because I guess, you know, back then, like, uh, kids would just be intentionally annoying. And, um, he, I guess he provoked me somehow or another. It wasn't that difficult, but I guess he would provoke me. And then, like, I just, like, get on top of him and just, like, start punching him. And it wasn't too long until, you know, like, one of us was sent home. And yet, we kept, like, visiting each other on a regular basis to get into fistfights. Ah, uh, family logic. Um, I- okay, there's another story I'd like to tell you guys, like... Oh, look at that, you can't even get past me. To tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. Wait, if you eat so healthy, then why is it that you are too fat for your friend to get around you? When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? Equip it? Yeah, why, why are you giving me a hint, like, right before you fight me? That, that's gotta be, like, the most awkward way to start a fist fight with any random person. You know what I should do, though? That... I should probably just... That would be like going up to a random stranger just off the street, like if I'm gonna go shopping or something, for uh, groceries or whatever. And... I just start talking to them and be like, Oh, by the way, do you remember to exercise for an hour every day and just, like, kick them right in the stomach and just walk away? But right, the uh, the other story. Um, I would like you people to weigh in on whether or not this counts as a fist fight, because I kind of don't think it does. But I'm interested to see in your opinion. So, um, this is me in preschool. You know, like four or five years old, and probably like my only year in uh, Catholic school. I mean, thank God for that shit. Because, you know, horror stories. And there was this one kid who was, like, the bad kid of the class, you know what I'm talking about? And, um, like, he would just, like, particularly target me. And, like, he was just, like, hitting me with his book bag and whatnot. And, like, I'm kind of just like, shit, what do I do? And I remember, um... My mom t telling me that, um, you know, if somebody hits you, you gotta hit them back twice as hard, which I get, because not only because you're, like, defending yourself, but you're also trying to show them that, you know, not to, not to fuck with you. So, I just, I just fucking went and just punched him in the chest. And the funny thing is, like, I didn't even get in trouble for that. Like, the, the teacher went up to me. And said, okay, look, if you're gonna if you're gonna do that shit, then like tell me first. <laughs> Which you you never see that nowadays. So pretty much like what she was telling me to do was just, you know, go up to her and be like, hey, um, this kid's being kind of a dickhead to me. Can I just like wail on him a little bit? Oh yeah, sure, that's fine, you know, whatever. Just don't do just don't do it too much. Okay, thanks, teacher. Man, I just love rooting around in people's pockets after viciously beating them up. Like, is that something ethical in real life? Like, if somebody, if somebody picks a fight with you, and you win, is it, you know, justifiable to, like, go through their pockets a little bit and, like, steal a little cash or whatnot? You know, leave a comment in, in the uh, comment section below and give me your opinion. Because I like to interact with my YouTubers because it makes me kind of social. Bet you thought I was gonna say, gonna say something else again, didn't you? Bunch of sick fucks in my audience. Wait. Oh yeah, level six. Do, do we have enough time for our first boss fight in this?
You know what I kind of notice in this though? Like, uh, even though the the sharks are supposed to just be like generally violent and like just generally like pick fights with people and cause trouble and whatnot, they all just go after me. Like, I know that, you know, they do it because of their enemy characters, but wouldn't it make sense if they also, like, are bothering NPCs or something? And the NPCs are like, oh, please help me! This bully is trying to steal... is trying to steal my purse! And then you can be the hero and get, you know, free shit from the NPC you helped. Alright, um, I'm gonna call this an episode, so... Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, share a video, and until next time.